a special shout out to all my awesome YouTube members and patrons, Riptide, Anik D, Matthew Hall, Charlene Kelly, Yushika Bay, Madlo, Lucky Charms, Sam Medina, and Blah Bear Cookie for your amazing support. Hey guys, and welcome back to Seven Days to Nine, Darkness Falls mod. So yeah, um, I need to start the recording now, even though I'm still busy over here, because a Wandering Horde's passing through. And there's no way I can actually let go of a Wandering Horde, because it's going to give us quite a bit of XP. I need to catch this on camera. Okay, I want you guys to come for me right now, that's fine. Maybe be careful that they don't actually go and destroy this thing. The shame we don't have a range on us. If I had a range, I'd actually be able to see how much damage they've done. I need to be careful because zombies at night time do run. No, they jog and then the ferals run. So I need to be careful of ferals. I don't want to waste too much, um... Too many molotov. Oh, crap. Ooh, that would've been bad. I don't want to waste too many molotov right now, so I want to make sure we can kill as many as possible. Just by using a molotov or two. And hopefully the XP just rolled in. Oh, that one's a feral. That one's a feral. That one's a feral. How much HP do you have? Definitely more than your friends. I was like, you know what? I see a zombie walking over there. It's just one or two zombies. And all of a sudden, more and more and more started showing up. Hey, why are you guys so slow, though? Some of these guys are super duper. Oh, stamina, stamina, stamina. I've been running out of stamina like crazy while uh, digging the stone over here. These guys hit like trucks as well, I need to be careful. Nice, I love the fact that the fire spread so far. Yeah, I need some coffee and stuff guys. While I've been digging this stone over here, my stamina's been running out like crazy. Barely, it's still day 6 at least, but I've barely been digging. And I keep running out of stamina. I feel like that's a major, major no-no. Okay. Stamina, 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 stamina. He's gonna tell me that dude behind me is fail. Oh, he's a little bit faster. Okay, but he's still jogging though. Come on, 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 come on. We do have the shotgun, but I don't really want to make noise right now. I'm gonna have to, aren't I? Oh, I forgot about the knife. I barely ever use the knife anymore. Crap, 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 crap. The nice thing is left clicking also all the zombies away from you. Or keep them away from you. So if you really want to uh, keep the zombies at bay when you don't really have that much stamina, all you have to do is use a knife. And I don't really have the stamina for this, but it's going to be way faster just power attacking this than left clicking. What I want to do is during daytime, I want to see if I can't make some lockpicks already. Um, in the morning, after, because I'm going to cut away now and just keep digging over here. I'm just going to cave it in, guys. Uh, we don't have enough time to break everything. Especially with running out of stamina so, so frequently. Just, there's just no way. I'd really want to go and just get all the stone here. But I'm just going to have to keep my eyes open for like a stone rock formation on top of the surface or something. But yeah, I'm going to read these treasures now. Let's just see where they are on the map. Because these treasures might actually come in handy. Let me just get the bones over here as well. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Stamina! Okay, while well, we get our stamina back. See, I need to still break all of this. Okay, we're going to read these. Oh, that one's the same one as one we already have. So I wonder if it's still the same as where if I go and do that quest now, Nicole's treasure map, as soon as I've opened up the uh, the treasure and I read it again, it should be the same container. I don't know if it's the same or if it's changed. Please don't tell me this is too far away. Where's that one? Huh? Is that one super far away or... I just read Taylor's quest, but I can't find it. On the map, at least. Taylor's map. Location nearby. Oh, this one's bugged. Does not have a location to show. Oh, that's a shame. So Taylor's treasure map is bugged out. We can't do that one. I might just restart the game to see if it actually picks up. But yeah, Nicole's one is 1.2k away. See, the thing is, it might have cash inside. So I think if we we need to do the, uh, the starving tourist, then the buried supplies, and then go up for the treasure, and then come back down. Let's just hope there isn't too much of a mountain range over there. And now back to the digging. It's just a shame that I don't have any coffee on me right now. And water just isn't doing the trick. Okay, so I just restarted the game and it seems to have fixed Taylor's map. So if you check on the map now, it should be... Oh, that's rather far away. I need these treasures. Where? What are you finding? I hear a zombie over here. Tell me there's an NPC over here as well. Oh, I wish, I wish I could actually trap an NPC. Oh crap, he needs help. I wish I could trap an NPC. So that, that, uh, during a horde night, they can actually help me out. That would be awesome. 
But I need to actually heal them and stuff. So on. this one doesn't have a gun. I think the survivors in Darkest Falls only have the melee. So unfortunately, they won't be able to, uh, to help. Anyways, guys, I left these on one attack each. This should make it cave in. So I just want to have you guys here while we do this. Hopefully this doesn't cause any lag or anything. Like this bugs out the, the region or anything like that. I think if this was normal stone, they would actually drop resources for us as well. Okay, now I also want to go. These windows are a big no-no. Um, unfortunately, the zombies are going to try and get through the windows of here. I need to also take out the ladder on top. So I'm going to do this. Uh, same on this side. As soon as we have the ladder on top, uh, well, as soon as we destroy the ladder on the inside, any zombies that do make it inside the house um, should be easy enough to deal with. Let me do this, do this. Um, I'm going to leave this porch here. Although if I use the door at the back, that should also work. Uh, the thing is, I want to start the defense from over here. And then we still need to take all of this stuff out and put our own frames in and, and, and. So we have a lot to do. Um, I want to take that wooden block out. So we're going to start from over here. Basically, it's going to be the same defense that we have in Undead Legacy. But I want to test whether it actually works in Darkest Falls or not. If it does, guys, this is going to be awesome. Um, I really, really hope it does work in this one, because if it works, it's going to save us so much time and effort. One, two, I should probably go three out, because the zombies in Darkest Falls can jump nicely. Uh, this is a hope that's not too much weight now. We'll do that, we'll go and do a full shape. Uh, we can actually go ahead and copy rotation. Boom, and then from this side, we do the outside corner of this. So we go, we choose another shape, we're going to go for the quarter block, normal one. It has to be on the outside top. For those of you um, that haven't seen this defense in any of my series yet, which if, you, uh, if you're new to the channel, I can understand. But yeah, I've been using this defense a lot. This works well. So basically, the zombies actually w w walk from very close by to this side to make it over and then come to me. But since I'm standing there, they don't really want to make it over and they end up falling down. One, two, three, four. I'm actually thinking of doing it proper and uh, nice and long. I need concrete though. Also, um, I restarted the game to get the quest back, and Anna duplicated. There's two Annas. So we need to kill one off, because that one's just going to be in the way. But at first, I want to see if either of them have concrete. <laughs> it's going to be a nice way to quickly get some concrete for ourselves. Uh, I wonder if I should just drop this over here. And then do this. This is the max it can go at the moment. So if I place this here, it's going to help with the structural integrity until we have the other side up and running. Boom. Which means now we can go, that has five, right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We need to put a nice wall over here so the zombies can't jump up. And then this is going to be the where the walkway starts. So what I want to actually do is, let's let this touch the bottom. Now I'm going to put a, let, let's put pillars in there. I want to actually do this. Just so I can put those other thin, thin, thin poles in. But guys, these poles are the best when it comes to just defending your base. Because the zombies have to break four of them just to be able to get in. Um, damn it. It's a very small aiming that you have to do right now. I'm standing on the block. So it's right here. I don't want to misplace any blocks right now because we don't have the time to... It's stored nights tonight. We don't have the time to play around over here. To accidentally misplace and then break out and then misplace. and It's just too much work. These, my hand needs to be so steady when we do this now. At least this one's easy enough because it's all three corners are done. But yeah, the zombies have to go for the second block and have to destroy all four blocks for this to cave in. So this is a really cool defense. And now we can go and copy. We have so many shapes or more blocks downstairs, so that's going to help us with the rest of this defense. Copy rotation. This time around, I want to see if I can't do it right. I only have one walkway for the zombies to take, so I can shoot from the uh, from over there. So we're going to put this in like a double floor. We're going to do the same over here. Technically, I can take that out now because these blocks are keeping everything up. Um, I should place... I'm going to later replace these with full blocks. Otherwise, it's just not going to look very nice. And then now this is connected to this corner block. That corner block is a pole. So it looks like it's floating. That's why I want to put a full block in so it doesn't look all that cheesy. Um, copy shape. Copy rotation. The nice, I really love the fact that, oh, oh crap, in Alpha 20, they show you exactly um, how much more you can place before it breaks. I love that. So as soon as it starts turning yellow, you know, okay, be careful. And as soon as it uh, turns red, you know, okay, you can't place anymore. Okay, how much HP are these blocks again? Okay, so it's, at least it's not going to take too long to break. The nice thing is we have so many uh, blocks downstairs. 
we should be able to quickly uh, put the rest of the defense in over here. So what I'm going to do is quickly get away, guys. I also need to take away the... I forgot what these are called. The overhang over here with the, uh, the ramp blocks. Um, unfortunately, with them in the way, the zombies will be able to go and jump on the roof and make it to me. So we want to make sure that any kind of zombie that's uh, that has the jumping ability can't do that. I just really hope this defense works as well as it does in Undead Legacy. Especially early game in Darkest Falls, we really want to see if we can actually do this. It's just a shame that I'm not going for like a full standalone base because that was my intention. Um, but yeah, I, I want to make sure we have... Since we got this base, this is the most powerful, the strongest base in the game. Why not use it? I'm also going to have to destroy this and then later make a way down and stuff. See if the zombie breaks in here by the back door or something, they're going to climb the ladder and they're going to get to me. But if I take the ladder out and there's no way to get to me, the zombies should technically leave me alone. Um, I need to always close one of the two. I keep forgetting, and just now a zombie gets in here with me. Okay, I made three forges. Oh, that's another thing, guys. I had two skill points. So I put one into the Laborer Class's Hammer and Forge, and I put one into Sexual Tyrannosaurus so I can just mine a little bit faster without constantly running out of stamina. Okay, uh, let me just do this. I want to place these down. I need to make the advanced forge as soon as possible because those things don't draw heat as far as I'm aware. So if we can replace the big forge as one of those, it's going to be awesome. Okay, uh, also I want to buy some food. Uh, we should have enough cash to buy more, but I want to get some concrete because I want to see if we can't make the defense concrete. But look at this, buy. since I restarted, I've got the getting old E, great. But since I restarted, there's two of her. So I'm gonna have to kill one of her, but I, I just sometimes when you kill uh, when you kill the trader, it also uh, causes lag. Oh, and I really don't want to get soup. lag right you now. Got the Dukes. I was I'll make the time. Out a while. Man, that was annoying just now. <laughs> Both of them speaking at the same time. Okay, for some reason they're not selling any concrete. Oh, you think one of the two actually has some? Let's get some acid because I know that's gonna be worth a lot. Look at all the clay though. Damn. I think with clay you can make other stuff as well. I just can't remember what. Okay, ammo, we're definitely going to have to get ourselves some more... Yeah, let's get Molotovs, because the zombies are going to burn nicely. The more Molotovs we have for Horde Knight, the better. Obviously, we're wasting a lot of cash right now doing this. But guys, in Darkest Falls, Molotovs work so, so well. So it's definitely going to be worth the effort. Okay, I should probably just quickly drop stuff as well, so we know we can get going. Farming, food goes over there. I need to make sure we fill up. Oh, also, we can make chicken poops and stuff. So I don't even know if whether we're going to do the uh, quest or anything. If, if we don't get to the quest, we don't get to the quest. I want to make sure we get as much done as possible right now. So I'm going to go and make some cobble shapes of here as well. No, we can actually make it on, on us. It's fast enough. Frame shapes? No, I need the cobble shapes. Yeah, just four minutes. I can divide it between me and the uh, workbench of here, but it's easy enough. Oh, that was a waste just now. Damn, that was a waste. Also, guys, I had to repair my um, pick once. So as you guys said, oh, look, I had to repair that one, and then I'm using this one over here. I need to keep my ears open for the airdrop as well. So if we can just work on the defense right now, and go and get the airdrop, and then that's it. That, that will be all that we need right now. I need to destroy this. See, since the floor is wood, this is actually a really bad place to be. I need to still take all of this out. Oh, I miscalculated. Okay, it's not that bad. Basically, all I want to do over here is... I think I'm only going to take these out. So I'll take this one out because this way I'm going to be facing the zombie. But the rest, all I have to do is place cobble on top of it. So I can take these out and place cobble on top and then just upgrade these to cobble. I'm just going to need a, uh, I'm gonna need a repair tool of some kind to be able to do that. Which also means right now I don't have to go and chop these up. Although, if they're out of the way, it's going to be way easier for us as well. I also need to make some hatches, but that's downstairs. See, while I was downstairs just now, I could have made it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, stamina. I'm definitely going to have to work on my stamina because it's running out way too fast. Okay, so if we stand over here to be able to shoot down the hallway, um, I need to go from here. Damn, look at all this wood. It's a shame you can't burn down a place, or at least set wood alight. Because if I could burn the wood over here, it would have been so much easier getting stuff done. What I could do for now, at least, is place on top of this cobble. And then just after, go and destroy the uh, ram blocks and go from there. I'm just afraid some zombies are clever enough to jump there. Any kind of jumping ability, we need to block. 
But yeah, if I can just go and especially here, make a hole through so we can see them. Oh, my stamina is running out way, way, way too fast. But I, I want to make a hole over here so we can see through the window as they're running down. We shoot them. And then while they're on the stairs and stuff, we can throw molotovs from over there or th uh, through the hole over here. Um, I'm just going to have to design the hole in such a way. I think we should still throw the molotovs from that side. The reason I say that is, as you guys know, in, Dark uh, in Undead Legacy, I had doors, like hatches and stuff, so I can just throw molotovs through. And for some reason, I kept hitting myself with the molotovs. That was really not a fun experience. I'm gonna, I'm gonna still cave in this whole roof up here. As you guys know, I usually do that. I cave in the whole roof. Although no, I can't do this over here. I need to just, uh, really see where the bottom of the stairs and the roof and everything is. But yeah, usually I cave in this whole roof and I make my farm on top of here. But if I can just, if I can do the farm like in a next door building or uh, over there in a pit or something, I'll do it. But now we just want to make sure that this top part is where we can battle any kind of zombie right now. And the problem is the day is going on fast and my stamina is running out faster, so that's really not good. Stamina is running out way, way, way too fast. At least we have enough cobble shaped blocks to do the stairs and we should have enough to do the wall up here so we can just get ourselves to safety. So basically what I want to do is we're going to go cobble shape, we're going to go copy rotation and then from over here we're just going to put in a whole one. Um, I need to see now exactly how I want to do this because in my Undead Legacy one, I had like a whole wall. The second block was just doors that can open up. Um, do I really not want to be able to see the zombies at all? Or do I put doors in over here and just close them and still just use this one door over here to shoot the zombies? That way, if I want to hit them with like a spear or something on this side, I'll be able to do so. Yeah, okay, so we can do from there, which means uh, from the inside, I'm going to have to destroy the ram blocks. But for now, that's just gonna, it's gonna stay as is. Okay, so we can keep going. To there. I wonder if I shouldn't just make it go past as well so the zombies can't jump up. Like so. Just in case they try and jump over here, I think most of them, if they try and jump there, they will fail. If I can't jump it, well, I can. Yeah, <laughs> I was about to say, if I can't jump it, they can't jump it. And then voila, I can jump it easy. See, the spiders might still be able to jump up top, so the, this wall needs to be extended. But the whole idea, for those of you new to this defense, is they run like this. They jump over here, they run over here, and they get to where there's a hatch on this side. But because you're standing on that side, they want to they want to hug the left. So when they try and go to the right, they fall off easier. So I'm just really hoping this works in Darkest Falls as well. Otherwise, I just wasted a ton of resources. Oh yeah, that's the stone boulder I want. That stone formation at the back has so much stone in it. Okay, so now we need to make a staircase. Um, I wonder if I should have the stairs on this side as well, just in case zombies try and break stuff. Yeah, I could do this and then start over here like so. I just don't want them to be able to see me too easily from this di uh, from this angle, because they're definitely going to try and kill me if they do. And I want to make sure there's one block out, and then the stairs start, because otherwise they're going to destroy the one that's going over. I just want the single bridge over here, so that while they're running, we can just shoot them in the head. It's going to be so much easier killing zombies this way. And then, I wonder if I shouldn't just make a, pyram a pyramid of some kind of the back of here. But the thing is, if you make a pyramid, the zombies will stand at the back and vomit at you. You want to be able to direct the flow of zombies. So they must climb from this side, or they must climb from this side, or they mustn't climb at all. But tell that to a zombie. <laughs> if the zombies do that, they're going to really destroy this. If you don't make the pyramid stairs, what happens is the zombies don't like it. Here, they're going to fall down here, and they're going to try and run into the side of the building. So I'm going to have to add some stairs sideways somehow. Wait, why can't I place... Oh, that's bad. That's, where the, that's the trader's block. I can't place floor there. Oh, no, wait, wait, what? That's the first time I've seen this block on the outside. It's usually on the inside. I can't place a block here. And you can't also place it on the top. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. I'm going to have to do this now and hope for the best. But the zombies are definitely going to dig into that uh, sideways now. Damn. That is super unfortunate. What's the chances of getting a block like this on the outside? Usually that is uh, the... That, that's what happens when you get to the trader block. And the trader blocks are usually on the inside of here. That means there's a trader here, but I can't remember there being a trader there. You can't place because of this. Oh, no. Perhaps there's a stone or something. No, there's no stone because you can't even place on the top. But it's just those two blocks. Have you noticed? Look at that. I can place there, but not here. This is going to mess my defense up so badly. 
Because the zombies are going to start digging into the stairs over here since they can't do uh, anything really. Yeah. Okay, so this is really unfortunate. I do want to make a standalone base soon anyways, but until then we have to make do with this. So until I have the resources to really make myself a standalone somewhere where there's no bugs. Um, I wonder if it's because I caved... No, it can't be. Because I caved the destroyed stone and that, that uh, there might be a bug like that. But I doubt it. Okay, so yeah, the cop might still be able to stand at the back of here and vomit at me, but it's not going to be as bad. I want them to jump up like so and then come to there and do this. Yeah, they have to jump up. Uh, for the first ward night, I'm not going to put stairs in. I'm going to hope for the best because the slower they are uh, getting up of here, the more you can hit them with molotovs. The faster they are, the harder it is. Although, if you throw a molotov here, the faster they make it back up again, the faster they run through that fire again. So sometimes the fire can be a blessing. But let me just quickly take this out and then we need to go... Uh, let's just block this off. I need to go make hatch doors and then also we need to block this off. And the hatches need to be at least iron before we face the zombies. Hopefully for the day 14 horde we can have some um, concrete blocks over here. Because this, especially this uh, pillar over here holding everything up, everything needs to be the strongest quality it can be. I'm actually already worried about zombies getting stuck over here and annihilating me. Okay, so I finished making a hole up top. We're making some uh, hatches over here right now. I just hope we're going to be done in time. <laughs> we have so much stone and sand and stuff right now, but that's about it. I need to hurry, 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 because it feels like I'm doing everything so slow-mo. Oh, we do have concrete. Not that much, though. I wonder how much I can actually get done with that. There's only six blocks worth, right? Uh, do we have a... Yeah, we have a nail gun. I need to actually keep repair kits for this one. Make sure we drop that. The airdrop just came by as well. I wonder if I shouldn't keep some of this for repairs, but we don't have enough clay right now. I used up everything. Although... Hello, hold down E. What's ailing you? Let me just get a little bit of that. I just, need I just want to make sure that I can actually turn that into more cobble, and then we'll be able to repair the cobble during Horde Night. I want to read this treasure as well, but... Guys, I think we're going to first wait until we have more lockpicks before we go for these treasures. Otherwise, I don't think we're going to have enough on us to be able to do anything right now. Um, yeah, but as you guys saw the last time I did one of those quests, one of those, um, well, the uh, first and only treasure uh, treasure you did so far, I used four lockpicks. Uh, we, I, I only succeeded on the fifth one, so that's rather bad. I should probably also do this and take out the bottom of here. Basically, what I did off camera just quickly now was I destroyed, let me show you guys this. Um, I destroyed the rest of here so I can actually get through. And I destroyed this and made this over here. Now we could put a hatch over here, but I'm actually thinking of putting a block over here. Like a normal wooden block. So we can pick it up and just throw a molotov from this side as well. But I don't know if that's going to be a clever thing to do or not. Okay, so now what we need to do is this. I hope we have enough blocks right now. So this needs to be turned into iron. There you go. I'm hoping we have enough resources for this right now. Um, this one on this side, if not mistaken, needs to be turned like so. And that one needs to be turned like so. One, two, three, yeah, I think, okay, one, two, three, I think it's supposed to be like this. I might be wrong, it's been a while since I've actually done this uh, again over here. So we just make sure that we have these hatches up of here, so basically the zombies have to jump over that. Copy rotation, one, two, three. I want to do this on this side as well, so the zombies actually have to make it over. No. Uh, simple rotation. Simple, simple, simple. Okay. Three. Come on, there you go. Okay, so this is the only one I'm going to put in, or the only two. This is going to slow them down enough so over here that they're not even going nightmare speed anymore. Um, I want to see if we can't get at least over this over here and a few blocks over there make it concrete. Or at least the pillar. The pillar holding everything up, just in case the zombies start aggroing and they go for the pillar. So I think the pillar is the first thing. Uh, we do have a double walkway over here. So hopefully there's no cops and stuff that destroy the double walkway. Oh, I just used concrete, didn't I? Oh, that's a shame. I am scrapping... You know, I was, I was going to say I am scrapping more iron over here, but we don't have iron. Um, I wonder if the trader's selling iron. We need to go for the airdrop as well. Uh, there might be some resources and stuff in there. No, I think let's just do that first. So we're going to go get the airdrop, and then when I come back... Don't waste your resources, John. I need to do this. Now that's making blocks unnecessarily heavy right now as well. I really, really hope this doesn't cave in. At least this should hold. And we should be able to defend from the top. 
I'm gonna go fetch this drop quickly because there might be some resources or some ammo and stuff in there. At the moment, we don't have any cash. I wanted to do some quests as well, but it seems like we're not gonna be able to do that. Um, and I don't know... I think it's like 1 o'clock or something, so the next episode will definitely be the Horde Knight. I just need to make sure that we have everything upgraded, everything prepared and ready for the Horde, and then I'm gonna start the Horde. So yeah, guys, we're gonna be facing our first version 4.1 Horde next episode, and I'm kind of looking forward to it. Guys, I am so happy right now. Look where this drop is. Also, now that I'm thinking of looting uh, this drop, um, one of the E, or one of the Anna's, almost said E, uh, one of the Anna's that we have at the moment actually has a lucky little goggles. So the soon, as soon as we can, I need to actually try and see if I can't buy that, because that's definitely going to help us. I don't really want the XP glasses. Um, I, I just want to be able to reach a certain level, and then from there, we need to make sure we level as slow as possible. So, yeah, as soon as I can, I actually want to see if I can't buy those goggles, but I think it's like 2,000 or something. So at the moment, I just don't think we're going to have enough for it. Although we get, uh, on the way here, guys, we passed so many of these stone pillars and stone formations and stuff. But this thing over here, if you go with a steel pick and you destroy it, you get so much stone. Like you can easily get like a stack of stone, two stacks of stone, if you actually go and destroy one of these. But you mustn't cave it in, you must actually go for every single piece. But, obviously, to be able to do that, you need to make sure that you have a, um, a steel pick and a lot of coffee. And repair kits for the steel pick. Preferably, also, your tool skill needs to be so high that you don't have to worry about stuff as well. If your skill tool, uh, if your tool skill isn't high enough, um, and you repair, you're going to lose way too many levels in that as well. Okay, um, yeah, let's go to Anna. I want to see if we can't make the chicken coop and other stuff, because since we let, uh, reached level 5, we already read all three of those basic farming tips. We can now make the chicken coop and all that stuff as well. At least we don't need the rain barrel because we already have a working um, sink. But I mean, that's going to be awesome if I can just go and... You know, what are you? Only, level, only 200 HP. Every time I hear that, I was like, is that a bandit? Or is that just, that just a zombie that it sees? Because bandits also sometimes attack you, so you have to be careful. But yeah, if I can make a chicken coop and I can make the beehive... I think there was one more, th I can't remember what it was, one more thing that we need to be able to make. It's going to help us so much. I'm just hoping during Horde Night the zombies don't break up over here. I might need to go and at least take the top layer out. Because the zombies will be able to jump on the roof over here if I'm not careful. So as soon as I cut away uh, and say, see you guys next time, I need to go and just see how much I of that stone I can destroy. We don't want zombies being able to jump up at the back of the roof while they can easily just get to us over here. We want them to get to us over here. Okay, now I just need to get some iron from Anna, and then we're also going to see chicken coops and stuff, I think, also requires some um, iron. So the sooner I can get that, the better. Also, I should probably just put this in. I really don't want to, because you can't throw molotovs while there's doors and stuff here. But it's going to be so much easier just opening this up. See, I can do... No, that's not going to work. Let's do this quickly. We go like this, we go like this, we go like this. We say on face rotation. And now, yeah, it's going to open up like so. Unfortunately, you can't throw any Molotovs through here because it's going to hit the uh, the hatch. If you could, it's gonna be, it would have been so much easier. Ooh, there's also iron over here that we can actually get for the hatches. Let, let's just first see what I need for the chicken coops and stuff, and then I'll decide what else I need. I also need to make sure all those ladders are out and that Anna down here is protected with all these doors closed. I just have the feeling that during the Horde Night, zombies are going to peel in, but we just have to make sure that they are more or less safe. Chicken coop, what do we need? Bond fibers, we should have. Yes. Uh, we should have a ton of eggs. I'm just going to use all, all my eggs right now because I need to do this. If I can make two chicken coops, awesome. Okay, um, I'm out of bond fibers. I'm going to have to just uh, get a little bit more of that, but that's easy enough. I'm hiccuping like crazy. Okay, we can sell that stuff. I think we can actually also sell to Anna over here, right? If we can You're sell to her and then perhaps buy the goggles from her, that would be awesome. You didn't get bit, did you? Uh, sell, sell. We should have probably repaired those, but it's not going to really... It's going to lose durability anyways. This one, I need a sledge uh, as soon as possible, and then we need to put that on something heavy. We don't have enough cash right now. Is it you that has the uh, lucky little goggles? Lucky, yeah, 1.7. So after Horde Night, we might be able to sell a few things now and afford it. So I'm definitely going to be looking uh, after that, and then also I need some iron. Oh, so that was a coop. What about the beehive? Beehive, please don't tell me any grass again. Okay, so we need chrysanthemum and goldenrod. We should actually have both of those. Oh, wow. 
I'm really lucky I picked up all of this stuff. Uh, we need normal water and we need nails. I think nails is the only thing we might... Oh, we do. Hmm, okay, we have everything. All of these, that's going to last us a while. So if, the more chicken coops and stuff I can make, the better, guys. I'm actually thinking of like putting it down here with her, with them. Or just in their own room. I also need a smelting room for other stuff as well, but for now... Don't look so good. I could put them up like, over here. Like on top of each other. Or next to each other. Or even use this room over here, but if the zombies break through this, we have a problem. If I can wrench this and put all the coops together over here, it's going to help us tremendously. But now, finally, we'll be able to get some eggs, we'll be able to get some honey. It's not going to give us as much as it used to, because it was a little bit nerfed. But that's fine. It was just a little nerfed. It's not all that much. We'll put that over there, and unfortunately, we don't have space to put those in right now. Everything else already has a heavy weighted mod in. But guys, I'm just going to go and cut away. Um, next horde, we're going to be facing... Well, next episode, we're facing the horde. I'm going to do some inventory management and then also quickly just see if I can upgrade a few things up there. But I might just have to destroy some of that iron because I don't have iron. We could scrap these, but uh, some of them will keep like, scrap polymers. And oh, we do have this. Okay, cool. So this is actually going to help us if a zombie makes it over. So we can put those two on there. Oh, wonderful. But yeah, if you guys like this episode, please leave a like, share with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback. Leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Darkness Falls insanity, actually, because it's going to be a hot night. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or the Patreon link in the description down below.